What if you had taken just $100, parked it into a crypto app, and turned it into $10,000 overnight? Well, that's exactly what just happened recently with the Gito airdrop, one of the biggest crypto airdrops on Solana. Literally thousands of people made astronomical sums of money just for being early adopters of this new technology. And unfortunately, I can't give you a time machine and go back to take advantage of this opportunity, but I can do the next best thing. I can peel back the curtain and shine light on this exact strategy that led to these types of results and give you 10 different crypto projects to watch out for that could issue airdrops just like this one. I'm gonna tell you all this is a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below and subscribe. And while airdrops are a great way to make your first dollar in crypto, the best way to make long-term life-changing money in this space is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappadversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So first, I want to break down the exact strategy and how people turn, you know, $100 into $10,000 overnight. So let's use Gito as a case study. All right, so what is Gito if you're not familiar? Well, it's a liquid staking platform on the Solana ecosystem. So what does that mean? Well, Solana is a blockchain, all right, and the native cryptocurrency is the Sol token. So Sol is a staking token that you can use to help secure the network. And normally when you're staking, you have to lock them up. But what Gito does is it lets you stake on Gito, and then you get a new token back that you can use for other things like, you know, trading, DeFi, liquidity provision, hence, you know, liquid staking. Now, the important thing to understand about Gito is they were one of the first people to really successfully implement the points system. So what are points? Well, they're the hot new strategy that many different protocols are using to launch their crypto airdrops in 2024. So how do they work? Well, let's revisit the basics. Basically, if you're trying to get a crypto airdrop, then the whole idea is you need to go use an app or some piece of technology before they launch a token and perform some type of action that might qualify you for that. And then you can get a reward because that's the whole idea of an airdrop is it's a way for them to distribute their tokens to, you know, a holder base. And prior to 2024, a lot of times you had to just completely guess on how to do this. But now a lot of projects are implementing these points systems where basically you can go start taking you know, actions inside the application and you can actually watch points start to accrue, which is really you know addictive feedback to be like, okay, I'm actually doing something of value that's probably gonna qualify me for an airdrop whenever they have one. And so that's an overview of this strategy. Basically, you're going to look for applications that have point systems because the whole point system is basically an ad that we're going to do an airdrop. And when you start performing the actions and you watch your points start to accrue, that means you're probably getting in position for a reward in the future. Now let's look at 10 different projects that implement point systems that you could potentially qualify for. Now, before I show you these, there's always a quick disclaimer. This is not designed to be financial advice. You should always consult with a financial advisor before you know buying and selling any cryptocurrency. Using blockchain apps always has significant risks associated with them. And I cannot guarantee that you're going to make any money from any specific project that I mentioned in this video. But with that being said, let's jump in and get started. All right, so the first project is Rainbow Wallet. So what is it? Well, it's a blockchain wallet just like any of the others you might be familiar with. So the most popular blockchain wallet by far is MetaMask, okay? If you're going to use any decentralized application on an Ethereum compatible chain, you can use MetaMask as a browser extension. You have a mobile application as well, and you can hold crypto in your wallet and then sign transactions to the blockchain whenever you're using dApps. If you're using the Solana ecosystem, you're probably familiar with the Phantom wallet, okay? And, you know, Rainbow is just an alternative to these. They have a uh, Chrome extension, which you can install in your browser, and they also have a mobile wallet, okay? Now, Rainbow also has a points program, okay? So if you go to rainbow.me forward slash points, you can basically see how they accrue points to the application. And again, hint, hint, if somebody has a point system, they're probably going to have an airdrop in the future. All right, so project number two is called D-Bridge. All right, so what is it? Well, basically it's a cross-chain bridge where you can move in between blockchains without having to like go to a centralized exchange to deposit your funds and withdraw them onto a different chain. So, you know, this is a has a really important thing because, you know, if you want to have self-custody in crypto and, you know, have control of your funds and move around between blockchains, you don't want to have to go through a middleman and that's essentially what this project allows you to do, just like any other bridge, all right? So they have a points program, which they say points are coming soon. But a lot of times what's going to happen is if you've used the application before the points system launches, you're retroactively probably going to get rewarded with points. And even if you don't want to take that risk, you could just wait till the points program is actually fully live before you connect your wallet and you know move funds across chain. All right, so the next project is MarginFi. So this is a money market application built on the Solana blockchain. So what does that mean? 
Well, basically a money market is where you can deposit cryptocurrency, all right, and earn passive income just like a bank. And you can borrow cryptocurrency on the other side and pay interest for doing that. Okay, people use it all the time for DeFi. So basically, we've seen examples across multiple different blockchains. Margin Fi is just an example of one on top of Solana. All right. And if you see, uh, they have their points tab up here. And when you click on that, uh, you can actually see a list of the leaders in points. Okay. And you get different points for depositing and points for borrowing. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. All right, so project number four is Tensor. Okay, so Tensor is the leading NFT marketplace on the Solana ecosystem. So if you've ever used a you know app like OpenSea on top of Ethereum, well, Tensor is just like that on top of the Solana ecosystem where you can you know, list your NFTs for sale and you can also purchase NFTs on the secondary marketplace, just like eBay, okay? So if you go to the uh, rewards tab, you can look at the uh, earn points tab and you'll be able to connect your wallet and see the ways to earn points inside of Tensor, which is probably going to have an airdrop uh, with this system. All right. So the next project is Swell. So what is it? Well, it is a liquid staking platform on top of Ethereum. So just like I was talking about before with Gito, that's a liquid staking platform. So on Ethereum, it's a proof of stake blockchain. So if you want to stake your ETH, you have to either do it natively in a validator itself or you can do it with a third party in a decentralized way with the liquid staking platform. You can see examples of like Lido Finance, if you've ever heard of that. That's probably the most popular one or like Rocket Pool where you can do pooled staking. Well, basically both of these, whenever you stake, you get a new token back that you can use for DeFi trading, you know, liquidity providing, whatever. So Swell is another example of that. And Swell has their uh, rewards program where when you stake, you can earn points to qualify for an airdrop in the future. All right, so the next project is Eigenlayer. So what is it? Well, it's a restaking platform on top of Ethereum. So the last couple projects talked about liquid staking, where you can stake and then get a new token back that goes to death with. Well, Eigenlayer is really all about restaking, which basically means like if you're staking and you're using cryptocurrency and hardware to, to secure a blockchain network, you can use that same crypto and hardware multiple times over with different protocols, okay, in order to boost your rewards. That's what Eigenlayer lets you do, okay? So it runs on top of Ethereum and they have their points program, um, which you can see the documentation here for how they actually calculate their points. Looks like there's some complex formulas that go on here. The whole idea is if you use the core features of Eigenlayer, you're probably going to start accruing points in a somewhat predictable way that will qualify for the airdrop in the future. All right, so the next project is Nostra. Okay, so what is it? Well, it's a money market, all right, just like we talked about in some of those previous examples where you can deposit and, you know, lend out cryptocurrency uh, on top of the StarkNet ecosystem, all right? So same type of thing. The core features of their app are basically deposit and borrow. All right. And if you go to their points tab, uh, you can see a leaderboard uh, where they have action points here. Um, obviously, they have referrals as well. But the whole idea is you can start using the application. You can page this entire application. Also find your address. You can connect your wallet here. And as long as you're, you know, doing the core features here, you're going to start earning points and, you know, get reward for this airdrop. All right. So the next project is Avenue. All right. This is a decentralized exchange built on top of StarkNet. So basically like any other decks that you might be familiar with, like Uniswap, for example, where you just tell the token you have, the token you want to swap for, you click swap, you know, connect your wallet and then boom, it does the swap in the background. Okay. So what you can do is you can go to Avenue and you can look at the leaderboard here. All right. And the leaderboard is basically going to show you the leading users. But, you know, hint, hint, you know, this score here is the points. OK, so sometimes when you're looking for points, you're not always going to see a points tab. You have to do a little bit of common sense you know, research to see something that basically are points inside the application, just like the leaderboard and the score tab here. So, you know, the whole idea here is going going and providing the core features of this application, like swapping tokens. You can also do liquidity provision on the back end, and that's probably going to get you some points that are going to make you eligible for the airdrop in the future. All right, so the next project is Fibrous. Okay, so this is a DEX aggregator built on StarkNet. So again, we talked about a DEX in the last one. A DEX aggregator is basically just a website that looks like a DEX, and then it finds you the best prices on different DEXs within that ecosystem. Okay. So basically you connect your wallet, you click swap, all that type of stuff. And if you look over here, again, it's kind of hidden, but they have an arena tab. Again, it doesn't say points necessarily, but 
that's basically what's going on here. You can see the addresses and the amount of, uh, you know, the count here. This is just their way of, you know, implementing a point system that doesn't actually go by the name points. But the more you take actions inside this application, like swapping tokens, the more points you're probably going to accrue to be eligible for the airdrop. All right, so the last project is called Stacking DAO. So what is it? Well, it's a liquid staking platform built on top of a Bitcoin L2 called Stacks. Okay, so I'll break that down. So we talked about liquid staking before where you can have a token that you could normally stake that would normally be locked up, but you can stake it and get a new cryptocurrency back. Okay, but then this is also on top of Stacks, which is a Bitcoin layer two. So what is that? Well, layer two is basically, it works kind of like a blockchain that sits on top of another blockchain. So you might have heard of like Ethereum layer two is like Optimism, Arbitrum, et cetera, et cetera. You know, they are basically a network that piggybacks off this where you pay the fees and they have cryptocurrency, but then you get all these additional features and scalability with that other blockchain. So that's what Stacks does. It's, it's layer two for Bitcoin where you can do faster, cheaper transactions, also support smart contracts. And Stacking DAO is basically a way for you to stake their token with liquid staking. And also they have a points program. So you can just go look at the points tab here and you can see uh, basically how they work the leaderboard etc cetera, etc cetera. and obviously you're going to probably getting you know, points through the core feature of the application itself which is simply staking tokens all right so that's an overview of 10 different crypto projects implementing point systems for crypto airdrops in 2024 so let me know what you think down in the comment section below have you tried any of these projects are you going to try any and while airdrops are a great way to make your first dollar in crypto the best way to make life-changing money in this space long term is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer and I can show you how to do that step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.